In today's video, I'm gonna go back over the order that you should be doing your tuning process with a recurve style bow. So I'm gonna go back over the order of operations and how I do things because I've done basically the entire tuning series up to this point, and I've explained within each video reasons why and how each uh, affected change affects the tune either beforehand or down the line. So I just kinda wanna revisit to make sure you understand doing things in a specific order of operation is extremely important to having a bow that is set up perfect for you. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Jay Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery. I've been working to make this channel a great resource to all types of archery. This video is specific to tuning uh, for a recurve style bow. I've done an entire video series covering everything from brace height to tiller, uh, bow weight, bear shaft tuning, walk back tuning, you name it. Uh, I've done all of it already. I'll put a link in the description below, plus I'll put a card at the top on where you can find a link to that playlist. This is just gonna going to kind of re-summarize what I talked about before, uh, hopefully so everybody else can understand it. Also, if you haven't by now, hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. I'm uploading a lot of content lately and we wanna make sure that you get to see these videos. Ultimately, I'm just producing this content to make you a better archer so that way you don't have to go through the same growing pains that I did when I was growing up. You're watching the Jay Kaminsky YouTube channel. Okay, so I've got the tuning order. Now that I've erased it half of my fingers, I've got the tuning order here mostly laid out uh, pretty much to date in the order that I suggest. Now, it is slightly different from time to time. As you know, these middle sections here are interchangeable. So as we get to them, I'll mark them in green as far as which ones can be kind of interchanged depending on what you think would need to be adjusted, especially now that you hopefully understand my tuning method a bit better. But essentially, you start with your basic setup. So you set your rough brace height according to the manufacturer, the tiller uh, within the manufacturer's spec, your knocking point according to what you believe should be pretty close, and then your bow weight depending on what your individual setup is. Of course, within that is, you know, your arrow setup and arrow build and things like that, which I'm working on producing some arrow building content, so keep an eye out for that. I did just do one about how to glue components in, so if you haven't seen that by now, I'll have a link in the description below, plus I'll put a card up there uh, for you to check out as well. So then it comes things that are kind of interchangeable. So uh, tiller, stabilizer setup, your rough bear shaft tune, and your brace height. Those can all somewhat be interchangeable at different stages, or potentially you might have to go back over them a couple times. So say if you do your rough stabilizer setup, but then as you start doing your bear shaft tune, um, you realize that you're having a really hard time holding your bow up, then you might have to go back to setting your stabilizer setup, finalize that or get it really close, then do your fine, you know, your rough bear shaft tune because as I've told you within the stabilizer setup video, how you have your stabilizer set up, the length of your rods, how much weight you have where, whether or not you have an extension, all affects where the knocking point needs to be. Now, yes, I have knocking point set up here, but that is your rough knocking point. You really finalize your, your knocking point within this, uh, the bear shaft tuning, and then your final bear shaft tuning, of course, but that doesn't happen until you've gotten all of these things preliminarily set up. So I hope you can understand now how these kind of are inter interchangeable. So hopefully you can understand and see how these here affect each other and definitely affect down the line. Um, so these need to be done in a particular order. But if your brace height set and it's finalized, but you had to change it a lot, your rough tune may be off, that may need your tiller to be different, and so on. And you can see how you kind of go back and forth until you get it really close. And then you move on to your walk back tune, um, which sets your center shot. And that dynamically can change your tune. So you have to revisit your final bear shaft tune. And then you go on to fine tuning. Now, uh, once you're done with fine tuning, then you have to document. You really need to write down your exact specific setup and have a data log of, of sheet, you know, a sheet of all of your equipment list um, written down so that way you can make note exactly on how that setup was so that way when you build a similar bow and a similar setup or potentially retune your bow, 
you can set where your tune was after your fine tuning all the way up here at your rough uh, bear shaft tuning. So that way, all of these things go much, much quicker. Um, the first time this step, the fine tuning may take a couple days, but after you do it, you'll have a kind of a, a, a rough bear uh, ballpark of where your bear shafts land compared to your flat shafts. And then you can, you know, like I said, make a mental note of that and do your final bear shaft tuning and set it there so that way your fine tuning goes much quicker. So, you know, like I said, this video is, is really just a short, quick video. Um, I just wanted to revisit this here and show you again how each of these can really affect um, the, the tune itself. So again, these ones through this section here are all interchangeable and uh, these can be kind of moved back and forth depending on your individual needs. Um, and again, hopefully this series helped you out um, with trying to figure out what you need and how to set up your bow specific for you. Um, please, uh, question of the day, I guess, is if uh, there's anything in here that didn't quite make sense, anything that was confusing, contradictory, or something that you hadn't heard before, maybe you need more explanation on it, don't hesitate to comment below. Uh, and let me know what you are looking for um, because I don't want to leave you guys with, uh, you know, sitting at home scratching your head trying to figure out what I was explaining. So please don't hesitate to ask and I'll work on producing more content to uh, explain those questions that you may have. Thanks for watching and thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter or check out books, apparel, and some seminar info, head to jkaminski.com. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you again.